Mike here. And Lynn. And Lynn. I know it's been a little while since uh, since we've done a video together. Happy New Year to everyone. Yes, Happy New Year. Happy yeah. 2021. I hope everyone, uh, or I wish everyone all the best for 2021. Hopefully it's, it's better than uh, what 2020 has been anyway. Yeah. Yeah, so it's been kind of crappy for everyone. I know, so... But, uh, yeah, anyway, I just thought we'll shoot a video here. It's Sunday, uh, 11.44 in the morning right now. And uh, we're on our way to uh, do a visit of our new property that we purchased. Uh, we're, mo we're moving in uh, February 12th. So in the, uh, in the agreement and everything, around here anyway, you can, you can visit the property that you purchased before you actually move in two times to uh, look things over to measure for like say window coverings or uh, if you're going to do a rental or whatever prepare for that do some measurements and uh, basically just checking in and making sure that the house is in that and the property is in the same condition as what you bought it in so the second visit this is going to be our first visit today and then the second visit will be like the week before or so just to make sure that or the week of i think or the week of, yeah, yeah, I think that's what our yeah. realtor said. Just to make sure that no changes were done or any damage has been done in the property, uh, in the house, outside the house and, and stuff. So we're just, uh, we're heading up there now or we're, I don't know, about 10 minutes away. And uh, I don't know, what was the plan today? You, you wanted to walk around, I guess? You, well, Lynn's all, uh, I'm excited too, but Lynn. <laughs> we're both excited. I don't think you really have a plan other than just seeing the home well you want to look things over too yeah well you know i i want to go in um i mean mike specifically wanted to look at some uh, electrical stuff measure stuff outside for plans that he wants to, to do out on the property um i wouldn't mind going to look at um just to see you know as far as how much storage i have in the kitchen because i i mean we've seen the kitchen but i haven't actually gone and opened up any of the cupboards or anything you know i don't want to snoop but at the same time i want to see how much space that I'm actually going to have, um, you know, to store things and just, uh, you know, check out window coverings and uh, just where we're going to put furniture and if there's anything that we need to get before before we move in, like like the bathrooms is the same type of storage that we have now in our bathrooms, right? Things like that. So just to kind of, so we're prepared when, uh, when we move in. Yeah. Yeah, so that's what that's what Lynn's gonna do. So uh, yeah, once we get there, I'm gonna uh, I want to do a walk outside because I, I do have plans on uh, making a, a laneway going to the back. I got plans of making some sort of a coverall building, like a, a pole barn possibly, uh, something just to uh, cover up some some outside stuff from the elements of weather and all that. So I just kind of want to, because I, I didn't really measure it. We looked, we walked around, got an idea, but the more times you look, then the more ideas you get. I got the measuring tape. Uh, there might be a couple smaller trees I got to take down and stuff. So I just want to mentally prepare and I'm going to take pictures too, just so I can prepare before we actually move in uh, because I want to get stuff done before my, my season starts with my business for uh, lawn care in the spring. So I want to look at that. Uh, the electrical panel, there's something I wanted to look out on there too. Um, and uh, yeah, and, and then just look at some other stuff in the house. Just, we have an hour anyway, <laughs> an hour visit, and the owners are supposed to be away too. So We're just really excited to see it. Yeah. You know, it's, been, uh, it's been a little while. Like, when was the last time we went? Oh, well, just after we purchased it. So when was that all finalized? That was... Of December ish around there? Uh, December yeah, no, there. we sold, hold on a second, we sold our house like the end of November. So, no, it was. The yeah, house. it was in November. Yeah, it was in already. November. Wow. Yeah, so, yeah. So That's I, right. I think we actually saw it maybe October. So, yeah. we just really want to see it again and just, yeah. we're just, you know, excited to have a look. And again, I'm, I mean, I'm not concerned about uh, there being any issues with the property or the house. It's just more of, to get another visual of okay so this is you know and, and plan our move you yep. know because it's probably just going to be us and our boys well, doing the move we're and we have may, some friends we, helping us yeah too. we may have some friends help us as well but just to kind of get an idea you know we like to be uh, proactive and, and plan these things out just well we could hire people like i did look into you know getting a pod dropped off to load up a 
a U-Haul truck, hiring a company to actually load everything, deliver, whatever. So the thing is, we have uh, closing dates on the same day. So when we get our new property, our property and the new owners come in at the same day too. So when we get the keys, we don't. I know it's different in every area. I, I talked to some some of you that live in the states. There's a different process how things happen. We go through a lawyer. The lawyer uh, we sign off. We get the keys for the new property from the lawyer. So there's no guarantee. They they don't set a time that oh nine in the morning it's happening. It's whenever they get all the paperwork done from you know what they need to do from the other side and the other side sends this and that and that and this and then uh, they contact us say come on in we got a sign and everything's done so it could be at 10 in the morning it could be at 2 in the afternoon it could be at 6 in the evening we don't know so i got a storage unit uh, which i'm going to get probably monday well tomorrow i have it booked for friday for a month but i'm going to try and get it earlier uh 10 by 20 and i'm going to be moving all of our boxes and, and stuff we packed already in there and then I got a U-Haul truck that I'm picking up the day before, which we're going to start loading. And we're staying in a hotel the, the night before we're moving, just because the, the closing date day, February 12th, we have to be completely out of our home. So uh, that will work out okay. And then we can kind of pick away at the storage unit after over the weekend. Yeah, I mean, it's just boxes that are going in there. And yeah. Like our whole basement right now is full of boxes. Yeah. And we got rid of a lot of stuff, but there's still quite a few boxes. I mean, a lot of them all get unpacked. Oh, yeah. So, yeah, I think getting the storage unit is, is a good idea because we can just pick away at that stuff. Well, we don't need that stuff right away. No, That's it's less fine. stress. Yeah, less stress for moving day. And it's just furniture, beds, you know, one fridge in the basement, the other, all the other appliances stay in the home. So pretty straightforward for, for the moving truck, that is. Yeah. So anyway, I'm going to let you guys go right now. And uh, we'll, we'll come back after the visit and we'll just talk for a couple more minutes then. Okay, so okay. we'll see. We'll see you all in a little bit. Yeah. Maybe maybe I'll get some uh, video footage of walking around on the property outside. Okay, so here we are. We're uh, all the way to the back of the property right now. I just thought I'll share this. Uh, just kind of in the stages of planning uh, what I'm going to do back here for uh, you know whether I'm going to build a, a new pole barn or uh, keep the existing little barn there and fix it up. I don't know, I'll show you in a little bit what it looks like in there anyway. And I might have to tear it down, I think. So, you know, there's possibilities back here to put it there in the corner, like rebuilding right back there. Um, there's the existing uh, little barn that's on the property right now. It does need work. So, yeah, there's space there. Um, or coming over here, I think they had a little bit of a garden under the snow there, but uh, hey, that can be removed. So there's possibilities all back here. So I'll show you, show everybody uh, what it looks like inside here. It's pretty rustic. It is uh, rotting away. I'm sure most of you will say uh, just start over. And that's the way I'm kind of leaning, but I might be able to reuse and salvage material that's in here. Why not, right? So yeah, it's a little bit, of, it's had its day. So I'm sure it's leaking. You can see water stains at the top there and stuff. So, so yeah, I don't know. I'm kind of leaning towards rebuilding, tearing this down, see what I can save for, uh, for lumber anyway from this and uh, just getting rid of the rest. looks like that metal roofing there. So can reuse that. Why not? Right? So, so yeah, that's the inside of this uh, little barn that's on the property. I don't know, one, one time maybe the people had uh, some animals in there or something. Who knows? So, okay, we're just going outside here. I'll show you kind of my idea of what I want to do for a laneway going to the back. So, and what, I, what I'm going to need to uh, remove. And clear for brush and stuff so that's the back of the property there in the very back anyway I know it's kind of hard to see because it's all snow covered here so I want to be able to drive down the side here you see the uh, present owners already drove down there but they're kind of going wide so this little shed here wood shed uh, it's gonna have to be moved it's or I'll rebuild another one at the other side of the property or closer to the house um, so as you can see, I want to go between that tree and there's a field to the left there. It's kind of hard to see. So I'll have to remove, uh, some branches, obviously 
uh, I don't know what you call those right now in front of you there on the screen, but that's going to have to go too because I want to be able to drive along here down the side. And then uh, this, yeah, there's the wood pile behind the, uh, the wood shed. So you can see like the edge there where I want to be able to drive down between the tree and the, the uh, farmer's field on the side there. So in a second here, we're going to turn around and uh, the, uh, yeah, I, I think I'm going to tear this down because I don't want to remove those trees to the left there. They're pretty big trees and, and they leave pretty good. I've seen pictures, summertime pictures of this property at the back and it looks beautiful. So I, I really don't want to have to take down trees. You see those trees to the right. I want to keep all that there. So I think it makes more sense. You can see faintly in the background there, the, the wood pile. Uh, remove that and then remove this structure here so I can come back and build something right there. I think it makes sense. Have all uh, gravel pad, do a pole barn. Yeah, I think so. What do you guys think? Leave a comment. Let me know. Or I can build over there. Hey everybody, okay we're back. So, Hello. so yeah we did a, a walk around, uh, yeah I did a little little bit of video outside. Um, trying to plan but you know it's kind of hard because it's all snow covered and, and stuff but yeah there's a few, a uh, couple brushes and uh, uh, maybe one tree I might have to take down. I gotta move over the, uh, the wood shed. Uh, I think I am going to take down that barn that's there right now and uh, rebuild either in the far corner, left or right side. I don't know right now. <laughs> and then we, then we went inside and looked around. And yeah, it was, it was good because, uh, you know, just wanted to remember like how much room there was in there. I actually went through the kitchen and <clears throat> opened up all the cupboards and everything just to see what kind of space I have for storage and um, just the closets and things like that. Just... Yeah. yeah, it was good, you know, and then our next visit will be making sure that all the appliances work and, you know, that nothing's been damaged from from moving and stuff like that. Just kind of a last minute check to make sure that everything's in order and um, yeah. that'll be it. So it was good. Nice I didn't see any issues. So. No, no, <coughs> just, yeah, they're packing, obviously, just like how we are too. Yep. And our stuff house. was all over the place, but uh, yeah. yeah, no, we're excited and... Uh, yeah, there's a few things I got to take care of. Some electrical things yeah. I want to do. I uh, I measured in the basement for that bathroom I was talking about. I'm gonna uh, tear it. There's a little bathroom. We're gonna make a bigger three-piece bathroom mm -hmm. and make a little more space uh, in the rec room part. But uh, yeah, other than that, everything seems to be fine, and we're happy and we're looking forward to uh, to the move and the mm -hmm. new new adventure. Yep. So, you have anything else to say? Or? No, I'm yeah. just I'm happy we got to see it today, and yeah. um, we're really excited. It's like a month away, um, pretty much. So today's oh yeah, today's the tenth. So it's a month and two days away. Yep. So woohoo! Not that we're right. counting or anything, but okay. So hopefully you enjoyed uh, this adventure with uh, Mike and Len, and uh, yeah. So uh, be nice to everyone. Do something nice for someone today, and peace. Peace. All right, we'll see you all later. See ya.